when I'm looking for dry wood for the fire guys I want stuff that's been hanging in the trees so I'm just looking in the trees for anything that I see um, to be fairly dry so simple guys So guys, when I create my fire, I like to have a, a nice base down before I actually do anything. So that's the first point. So guys, today I'm just going to use a bit of the US military trioxin that comes foil wrapped like so. really like the way they do this foil wrapping and stuff, it makes it really easy to carry. Um, and this stuff actually lights really, really well, far better than hexamine, but it doesn't burn as long. So there's plus points and downsides to each fuel um, but as a fire starter these are great you know you can carry a package three fires in one really so as you can see here I've got a ton of fuel as well to get me going so let's see if we can strike this up using the Habilis bush tools pathfinder trade knife there we go now you've got to watch it because it does burn with a clear flame, fairly clear, kind of like mess. Once that's going guys, can soon get a fire going and then we've got our shelter and our fire done, so we're sorted what we need to do to be comfortable out here If you ever take something like hazel guys from a coppice, just a little tip, take one of the shoots that you don't need, you know the top shoots, and place that, prod that into the ground nice and firmly, and with it being hazel it might actually have a chance of growing, and then you've created a new tree out of your little bit of waste, and obviously it's coppice anyway, so it such, shouldn't be such a problem. So guys, you'll remember the bits of hazel that we cut earlier. Well, I wanted to make a pot hanger. Now, this is due to the fact that I got tagged by Barking Badger. Go check his channel out. He's one of the northern boys, should we say. And, um, yeah, really good guy. 
putting out some good videos and he says he's going to put out some more um, next year than he's already been doing so well this year should I say so go check his channel out so anyway we've got to get on with the lightweight bushcraft breakfast so first of all I want a pot hanger for my pot so I'm going to show you how to make one of these so first of all we need a straight piece of wood so that can be put aside for now and then I just need to take a little bit off this piece which is a Y branch so what we need to do with the Y is I need to point this end so for that I'm going to use an axe now this is just a Fiskars hatchet so all I want to do is just quickly point the end off not to a really sharp point because it'll just um, fray and go dull but just to the point where it's got an edge that will go into some soil quite easily then you need to sheath the hatchet again and just put it back where you're keeping it so that's that first part so we've now got our straight piece our Y and now we need a piece that's going to press the pot hanger down so to do this all we need to do is sharpen this end and this end so for that we'll just use a knife as it's not really thick enough to use an axe so good power cuts it's green wood so it should be fairly easy to to work Take that bit off. there we go so just a pointed end so that it can stick over them again sheathy knife and back where you're keeping it now for the final part, we need the bit that's actually going to hang the pot. So this is what I'm going to use to do that one. So what we do is we cut it where the Y intercept is. So like so. Now this piece is actually rubbish now but we'll keep it just in case we need it for anything so I now want to look at which is the thickest part of our Y which is this one so this one's the thin one so we want to cut the thin one maybe about there doesn't take much at all just light pressure we'll cut it fine and there we go so we can now hang our pot on this hook here but to do that we need to make sure we can hang it here to do that we need to create a notch so I'll just put a bit more fuel on the fire and now we need to create some notches so to do this I usually use my saw at first so we saw down try and keep it at a slightly angled cut and I'll do another one just below that in case we want to adjust the heat so I'll just bring that to the camera make sure you can see what I've done there little focus there we go guys so there's one there and another one just there So now we need to cut our notch. So for this we're using like a thumb press kind of grip and all we're doing is nice easy cuts straight down 
into the notch. We can use a power um, cut quite easily enough. And soon enough we have our notch. So guys, I'll just do number two and then I'll bring you back. So guys, the final piece of this puzzle is the Y. Um, sorry, the straight stick. So what we need to do is we need to put a flat um, like a screwdriver point, like a, like a flat head screwdriver point onto the end and then we can also sharpen this end if we want. So again, I'll just use my axe to do that. So. Just grab a bit of wood so I don't Bunting my axe too much. Hope you can all see this alright guys. And the other end as well. What we need to get it to do is we need to get it to fit in the notch in our pot hanger like this. So one end will have to be chiselled down a little bit, but that can be done with a knife. And again, just another quick point. I haven't got a chopping. Um, place here so it's quite quite difficult yeah, give it one more that'll do me it doesn't need to be that sharp the ground is pretty wet so again just sheath our knife and that'll do fine now we'll show you how to assemble it so guys firstly our Y stick goes straight into the ground like that now what we need is we need to find out a good point for our pot hanger to be. So maybe a bit further back. Yeah, maybe a bit further forward actually. Try and get quite far forward and stick it straight in the ground. There we go. That's better. And now we just place our little stick at the back to keep everything secure and nicely locked off. So I'll just take a few photos of that for you now.